Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I will be ranking all the Batman suits. We have got all of them from the Ben Afflecks, from the Patterson one, from the Bale one, from the Adam West one, from the George Clooney, from Val Kilmer's, and from Michael Keaton's one as well. I'm going to rank them into some tiers from the best to the worst basically. And I want to know in the comments below what do you guys think? Of Batman suits. Which one's your favorite? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe and let's jump into this ranking right now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the mecha suit, I guess it's called. The anti-Superman suit that Ben Affleck wears in Batman vs Superman when he's fighting Superman. Now this suit is designed for him to be having maximum power and maximum protection while fighting the Man of Steel himself, Superman. Now I like the design overall, I think it makes sense when you're fighting a character like Superman to have something like this that is more protective than your traditional Batman suit. Because if you have your traditional Batman suit, you're just going to get absolutely broken bones from just one little push. So it made sense that he created a suit like this. I like the glowing eyes. I like how it protected his jawline as well. I just, I really like the look of this Batman costume. So where would I put it? That is the big question. So for me, I would put the... Batman costume that is, you know, this incredible uh, Superman killing machine. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the great tier because it works for me. It absolutely works. Now we move on to Adam West and his Superman costume. Now, granted, if it was in today's times, we would put this one down, down, down below because it looks like cosplay. It looks like something you buy off the shelf. Now, I'm going to not take that into account. I'm going to take into account when this was actually done. They never had the technology. They never had the materials. They weren't able to create a suit we get now that you see in the Dark Knight trilogy or in the Ben Affleck ones or the Robert Patterson ones. They never had that sort of stuff. So, to do something on such a low budget, they had to do this. So, I'm going to rank it with the times that it was in. So I'm not going to just be unfair to this. So where do I rank the Adam West classic Batman costume? Now as for the Adam West one, I am going to put it in decent because it works for the times that it ha was in. That's why I'm going to put it in decent. Right now it probably wouldn't work. Now we move to Michael Keaton's Batman and his costume. Now this was the introduction to most of us who have been Batman fans? This is really the one that we all started to watch these Batman movies. Michael Keaton is a classic Batman that most of us know. His suit was this new, I guess, leathery, rubbery suit looking thing. Uh, had the big yellow logo as well on the front with the cape attached to it. It's a classic Batman look, all black with that iconic symbol in the middle. I think it did justice and it worked perfectly in the two Batman films that he was in. But where do I rank it in this list? Now for me, it goes in the decent tier as well. I like it, but I don't love it. I think it's probably not for me, but you know, it's decent enough for the movie that it's in and for the times that it was. Now we move to the Bale suit from the Dark Knight trilogy. One of my favorite suits and one of my favorite Batman and movies that I absolutely love. I love the Dark Knight trilogy. This suit to me was, at the time, the perfect Batman suit. I really liked how Nolan actually designed this and created this suit to come to life. From the hand gloves to the forearms to the chest and just the cape as well and the cowl. The cowl worked really well for me. This is one of my favorites, so naturally, where do you think I'm going to put this? This suit was always going to be up in the best because I absolutely love the Dark Knight uh, suit. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Maybe he melted. No, he's just hibernating. Now we move to the George Clooney Batman suit. And let me tell you, look, <laughs> you got to love the nipple bits. They show on the Batman suit. It's absolutely hilarious. But I think 
What doesn't work for me is the silver throughout this whole Batman suit. It just does not work. This is the one that he wore in the Batman and Robin, and it just does not work. Why he chose to go silver, I don't know, but it just does not work. It, I don't know why you would go down that route. And it's the same for the Robin suit, and it's the same for the Batwoman suit as well. Why would you use silver? It just doesn't work. And for me, this one is not one of my favorites. Not one of my favorites. But where do I put it in this tier list? Now for me, it definitely goes in the average tier. It's definitely gonna sit there because I just don't think it's very good at all. Now we move to Val Kilmer's Batman suit. And I tell you what, Val Kilmer, is so underrated when it comes to Batman. I think he's an absolutely fantastic Batman and Bruce Wayne, and I really like him. And as for his suit, I think his suit is quite slick and nice, and it works. It's not to the George Clooney with the silver or anything like that outlandish, where you're kind of like, whoa, okay, that's a bit too much. And it's not too plain Jane as well. It's just this simple design that is effective and works for what he is trying to do in the movie. And I think that's what I like about it. It's just a simple design Nothing too out of the ordinary that works. So for me, Val Kilmer's suit, I'm going to put in the decent tier as well because I think it's a decent suit. It's simple, but executed well. So for me, it goes in a decent category. Now we move to Robert Pattinson and his Batman suit. The new Matt Reeves movie, The Batman and his New suit and new take on this suit. And I tell you what, this is by far my favorite Batman suit. I love the design of this. From the cow, I think the cow works perfectly, to the actual physicality looking of the suit. I think having it not shaped like a pectoral muscle with the abs or anything like that, I think having it like the jagged shapes like an actual bodysuit armor works perfectly with that actual Batman symbol that is a blade as well work perfectly. I love the forearms. I think the forearms look incredible. I think the boots are great. It's a very, very classic year two Batman look. It's not a polished suit like the Christian Bale one, but it is very, very good. And I actually really, really like this one. And it's one of my favorites. No, it's actually my favorite. So let's just jump straight into where I'm going to put it. So, obviously, Robert Patterson, he goes in the top tier. He's number one. I just, I really like that suit a lot. I think it's just incredible. And now we move into the final one, which is the Ben Affleck one. The traditional one he wears in Batman vs Superman and in Justice League. This grey looking classic Batman with the big black logo, with the cow. Look, I think this suit is great. I really do. I really like Ben Affleck's suit. It's a very classic take on the suit with the grey, which I thought was a nice touch as well because we do see a lot of black Batman suits, which I'm fine with. I'm still waiting for this navy blue, dark blue one to come out, the old classic look with the grey. I'm really excited to see that eventually, hopefully, fingers crossed. But I do like what Zack Snyder was going with, with the design of this Batman. And it really shows the physicality of Ben Affleck's Batman as well by having it be skin tight and not having any armor on it necessarily, which gives you that normal physique look of a human, which I like as well. It's a nice touch. It's very classic, very simple, but effective. So for me, where do I rank the Ben Affleck suit? And for me, the Ben Affleck suit, I put in the great as well. I really, really like this suit. I think it's effective, simple, and just absolutely stunning. So there you have it. That is my ranking of all the Batman suits. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, guys think of mine and what do you... What do I... I, I so there you have it. That is my ranking of the Batman suits. Let me know in the comments below what did you guys think of my ranking and where do you rank their suits? Which one are your favorites? I want to know. Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me. And also remember, this isn't about who the best Batman is. This isn't about that. This is just about their suits. So take that into account as well. So smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Till then, stay safe, and peace out.